today? My name's Eric. As always, I want to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video today. On this episode of Smoking, I'm going to show you how to make lasagna in your slow cooker. Now, we're in the winter time of year. I don't like going outside when it's cold and windy and have to mess with my barbecue or my smoker. So that's when I pull out my slow cooker and I love filling the house with a delicious aroma. And one of my favorite things to cook in it, believe it or not, is lasagna. And the great thing about this is you throw everything in. You don't have to pre-boil the noodles or anything. Just let it simmer. It's going to fill the house, like I said, with a delicious aroma. And you're going to have a hearty home-cooked meal. I have around a pound of ground beef, a pound of hot Italian sausage, an onion, a box of noodles, some Parmesan cheese, some ricotta cheese, some tomatoes. Uh, it's going to be absolutely delicious, and it's real easy. So stick around. I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. Let's get cooking. All right, the first thing you want to do is get a frying pan with high sides and add a couple tablespoons of uh, olive oil. And we're going to start by sauteing around a half a white onion or one small onion. And then I got uh, around a teaspoon and a half of minced garlic. Always got to add the garlic, right? A little bit of salt and just a dash of some Italian seasoning. There we go. Just gonna saute this for a few more minutes. Get this nice and uh, soft and translucent, and then we'll add the ground beef and the hot. Italian sausage. Okay, it's been around three minutes. It's looking good. Okay, so I'm going to scoop this over to one side and we're going to start to add the meat here. We don't need to add any more additional oil or anything. So like I mentioned earlier, I have one pound of ground beef and one pound of the hot Italian Doing sausage. Doing it all with uh, Italian sausage might be a little too spicy. So I like mixing a half and half blend of ground beef and the Italian sausage. So we don't have to cook this all the way through, but we definitely want to get it browned and so we can drain some of the fat. So I'll give it around five, six minutes. All right, so here we are. So as you can see, there's a little bit of uh, fat here. So I'm going to drain this fat off. We'll be back in a second. Okay, we drained the fat. I uh, transferred it to a bigger pan here because we're going to add a lot of tomatoes and sauce. So what my wife and I really like are these San Marzano tomatoes. They come in this yellow can. Yeah, Ver Chinto. Chinto. Very good. But these are uh, peeled tomatoes. So they're like whole. We're going to put them in the Vitamix and blend them. So they're going to turn them into dice. You can also use diced tomatoes. So we got one 28, 28 ounce can of the San Marzano tomatoes. And then we're going to add some tomato puree, same company, Centro. Uh, the recipe originally just calls for half of this, but since we added a little bit more meat, we're just going to throw this whole can, another 28 ounce can in there as well. All okay, right. we got it on the stove on a low simmer here, and now we're going to add out of our Vitamix. The blended San Marzano's. Yeah, and this stuff is really good. You know, unfortunately, as I get older, and I think you're experiencing yep. this as well, I know what as much say. as I love Italian food, sometimes the acid in the tomato sauce gives me major heartburn. And not yeah. initially. It's like I'll eat it for dinner, and then I'll wake up at 2 in the morning yep. uh, with the Feeling worst it. heartburn ever. These San... San Marzano. They for some because reason don't, don't give me that heartburn. It's, it's because they're peeled. They actually don't uh, have the acidity. I think it's in the skin. That's where the acidity is coming from. So anyways, this is the best, easiest way to make spaghetti sauce. Um, any kind of pasta, marinara, is just to blend up your San Marzano's. And now we're going to add that one can of tomato puree. Okay, you got it? I got it. And now you tell them about the simmering because it seemed overkill. We're, we're using a recipe. We're actually combining a few, but the main recipe is from 
Laura in the kitchen. I'll leave a link below. Uh, okay, so you guys comment and tell me if I'm wrong, okay? But any good Italian will tell you that you need to simmer your sauce low and slow. 45 minutes is not excessive. Some people will do it all day. Yeah, she said 45 minutes. 45 like, minutes is not long. Why do you need long. to simmer it that long? How about like 10 minutes? No, low and slow, and then we'll be, add some spices now, too. It'll be simmering in the slow cooker, but anyway. So I'm just... So we're going to do it for around 45 minutes, because... Uh, if she says so, <laughs> we'll follow that recipe. Well, I'm gonna eyeball it here. I'm just gonna do about a, I'm gonna do about a half a half a tablespoon of uh, basil, and I'm gonna do about a half a tablespoon of oregano, and then I'm just gonna add some salt and pepper, just a little bit. So we'll do a little salt. And then a little pepper. Now you can add whatever you want. Sometimes people like to put like a, a bay leaf in there when they're simmering and then pull it out afterwards, but I think I'm gonna skip on that. That's it. Then we're just gonna mix it up and then just uh, put the heat on low. Yeah, we're gonna put bring it up to simmer and Keep just it let it simmer uncovered for around 45 minutes. And it'll thicken. So bit. there it is, guys. Now, obviously, you don't have to do it like this. If you're in a pinch, just buy a couple cans of the pre-made uh, jars, spaghetti sauce. You know the jars. Uh, you know, two or three jars, and and that'll work as well. But you know what? It doesn't take that much to make it like this, and I think it's going to be that much better. So yeah, we'll let it simmer. We'll be back shortly. All right. Since we have 45 minutes to have that sauce simmer, time for a beer review. I'm having something I never tried before. Side hike. Double Hoppy Red, uh, Kern River Brewery out of uh, California here. It looks like it won a couple awards. Brewery Group of the Year and a Silver Award and 8% alcohol. So that's what I'm having. This is my son Kyle, my daughter Ava Grace. Hello. And Kyle's having another one of these unique Japanese sodas. It's a carbonated Ramoon, Ramoon, Ramoon drink. I think it's strawberry. Although it looks like a weird strawberry to me. Yeah. And it's got this weird top with a marble in it that I guess you pop down and it, it lands in this little round thing in the bottle. It's kind of weird, but uh, we'll he, show it he, to you. He was struggling to find I, out how it worked. Right. Yeah, I remember we had one at uh, Benihana once. And then Ava Grace is going to try a new flavor from Gatorade Zero. Uh, this is the Zero Sugar. And this is berry flavor. All right, so that's what we're There's having. a little tab here. No, it's just right. while we're in the middle of a video. It's all right. Oh. Grab the little plunger. Okay. All right. And now show them how you do it. Now, I guess you just pop it down. The phone's having too much messages and it's okay. notifications. It's okay, Eva Grace. I'm all right. I need that. You got it? Pop it down. Do it like this. Yeah, push down. Come here. You got it? <laughs> Make sure you got it on straight. If it's a little crooked. <laughs> it shouldn't be that difficult. To, but I know sometimes we run into problems. Let me see if I got it. Go. I wanted to make sure that was on. Stuck. Here, let me see. All right. So there's a marble definitely stuck there. Let's see. I've got a little plunger. There we go. <laughs> so it pops the marble down there. I don't know what the point of that is. I think it's so you don't drink it all in like one sip. Okay. <laughs> that might be. All right, so I have no idea what this is. I was at the liquor store. I'm always looking for new beers. I like uh, red ales. This said it's a hoppy red, and you can definitely tell it is red in color, dark red. Also, might I add, I don't know if you went over this already, but hmm. um, the flavor this is lychee or honey? Yeah, I don't know. It's made in Japan. I don't uh, know what that is. Lychee. But... It looks like a strawberry. I don't know. A raspberry. Maybe a raspberry. Okay, we'll pour some in. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching. We're going to be assembling 
our uh, slow cooker lasagna. As soon as we're done with this drink, we're going to let that sauce simmer and get all those flavors melded together. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. That, wow, you're still pouring? That's a small bottle. It's We're the only all thing. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Very small bottle. The viewers. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Ooh, it is hoppy. Ooh. Mmm. Tastes like medicine. It's good. <laughs> it tastes like medicine. It smells like it too. All right. Let's see. Let me get a sip. That tastes like medicine. I guess this is real berry and thing. No, it's some carbonated water, fructose, glucose syrup mixed with sugar, citrus, and this artificial flavor. It tastes a lot like medicine. <laughs> okay, well I guess that's not a real positive one for him. And what do you think, Ava Grace? Not bad. Gatorade though. Zero. Very good. What is it? Very good. It's very good or very, very good? Very, very, very good. Get very, it? very, get it? yes, very, I get very it. Very, very good. All right. I like those uh, Gatorade Zeros. They're nice because I don't like all the sugar in it. So when you, uh, especially if you're sick, you need to drink a lot of liquid, that's the thing to have. All right, guys, we're all going to enjoy this. And then uh, I'll meet back with you when we're ready to assemble everything in the slow cooker. And then we'll just turn it on and let the slow cooker do its magic. Thanks again for watching. Cheers. Cheers to our viewers. Hey, can I? Hey. See you in a little bit, guys. Cheers to an empty bottle. To the viewers. To the viewers. All right, it's been around 45 minutes. We've had this simmering. Now, one thing uh, Monica told me is since those uh, San Manzano, what are they? San Marzanos. Since the tomatoes are not salted in the can, make sure that you um, add salt to your liking. It's not like straight out of a spaghetti sauce jar where it's already um, salted. So just taste it. Put salt in. Don't do too much, you know, and then until you have it how you like it. Yeah, it looks good. So it's been going about an hour, but you can like a, you can do 45 minutes or you yeah, can let it go longer. Better, but now uh, it's thickened up quite a bit. So we want to eat dinner sometime tonight, so we're going to start assembling it. So right. meet you over the table in just a second. Okay, we're going to mix uh, the ricotta cheese blend. We have a 32-ounce... Um, jar or container of uh, the ricotta cheese and to that we're going to add one egg and then how much uh, what do you have there? We're going to do a quarter cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Okay. So put that in and then you're just going to do a, bit of salt. a generous uh, pinch of salt. So we'll just go like this. There okay. we go. And then stir it up. That's going to be our ricotta Give it a good stir. Cheese, make sure you get that egg beaten in properly. Okay, yeah, let me just mix it in good. All right, we'll get this all mixed, and then we're going to get the sauce, the lasagna noodles, some mozzarella cheese, and we're going to start layering this lasagna in the slow cooker. One thing I did do is I took some olive oil, and I just poured a little bit in, and I took a paper towel and kind of greased the inside of the slow cooker, because we don't want anything to stick. So... All right, there we go. We'll be back in a second to kind of assemble this lasagna. Okay, so get your pot of sauce ready. We have the ricotta cheese blended with the egg and the Parmesan. We have a big bag of mozzarella shredded cheese. And then we got a one pound package of the lasagna noodles. And they're not the no bake ones. They're yeah, no, no, they're ones. regular ones. These are gonna cook completely in the slow cooker. All right, we'll show you how to assemble this. Okay, the first thing we want to do is just put a little bit of that tomato sauce on the bottom, just kind of a little layer, just to kind of prevent it from sticking. Yeah, yeah, like that, like maybe. Yeah, just, just make sure you get some, because the sauce is actually going to help cook it. Uh, you know, help cook these noodles since they're completely raw and they're uncooked. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Now, since we have square rectangular noodles, you can see one piece fits in perfectly like that, but on the sides here, we're going to have to get a little creative. You're going to have to crack these in half, which is fine, and then just kind of layer them like this, unless you have a square rectangular slow cooker. But I don't so think you're I'd... basically going to have three rows. You'll have them yeah. the middle and then the two cracked sides. Yeah, just like that. Okay. Now we're going to so add... We're going to add... It's going to go 
It's gonna go noodles, then it's gonna go, you're gonna put a little bit of your sauce. Cover the noodles with the sauce. Okay. Okay, yeah, you wanna put at least a decent amount down because we are going to, uh, you know, wanna cover those noodles completely so they cook properly. And turn your slow cooker on low. This is gonna cook on low. We don't want it high, we want it on low. It's not going to take that long. Okay, Around three, three and a half hours. There's some sauce, and then we're going to do um, some ricotta. So we're just going to just take a generous. It doesn't have to be pre-measured. Just take a couple. You yeah, know, just some spread sprinkles. it out as evenly as you can. After you put some yeah. dollops of ricotta, then you want to just give it a gentle. Take the time to give it a little gentle spread. Yeah, try to spread it out evenly if you can. Here we go. And then after that, we'll go to the next layer, which is going to be the mozzarella. So then you want to just put, cover it with some mozzarella and then we'll do We're it just going to keep repeating this process and just layer this. So there we go. make sure you have enough sauce, you have enough cheese. All right. Now you want to Perfect. go Perfect. Now we go back to the noodles. Like so. And we'll go ahead and do this and a we few just, times. Yeah, we just keep re repeating the process until <clears throat> we have this slow cooker filled up. So we'll continue to do this. We'll be back in a second. Okay, so here we are. What did we do? Three layers? Yeah. Like three or four. Three or four. <laughs> We're going to do the last layer right now. Okay. One last layer of the lasagna noodles. And then we'll uh, finish off with a little bit of sauce and cheese. There you go. Man, I'm looking forward to this. Push it down a little. Yeah. All right, so that's the last layer. And now we're just going to put the lid on it. Like I said, set it on low. We'll come back in a couple hours and check it out. All right, it's been just over two hours. We haven't opened it. You can see it's uh, simmering a little bit there. We're just gonna add some cheese, a little bit of... Uh, Smells good. What kind of cheese is that? This is a Italian style blend with provolone. Just some Italian cheeses, provolone, okay. mozzarella. We'll put some of that on, then we're gonna put some uh, grated Parmesan cheese on top too, and then we're gonna let it go just for a little bit longer here. Like an hour. I think it's pretty much done. But we just want to get those, uh, and look at a little, a little more cheese. We love the cheese. More, more cheese, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So there's that. And then we'll, we'll go ahead and do the Parmesan. And we'll close it back up. All right, man. I love Parmesan cheese on it, too. Yeah. There we go. All right. We'll put the lid on it. Give it another an hour. 45 minutes to an hour, and it'll be dinner time. Right. We're just over three hours. We just unplugged it around 10 minutes ago just to uh, let it cool down a little bit. Look at how beautiful that looks. Mm. All right, so we're going to try to give it a little cut. Oh, that's perfect. Like butter. Are you going to try to get that end piece out or half of it? Well, I figure if I give it, yeah, if I give it a cut like this. Okay, well, <laughs> easier said than done. Yeah, I know. Well, let's try this oh, too. Getting all that cheese to go down. Sorry. <laughs> Got to give it a good cut. Well, you can always top it with cheese. Uh -huh. There's plenty in there. All right. Okay, let's try this. Easier said is right. Maybe I should try a... I'll try that middle one. The middle one gets you a little bit easier to get in. So... You got it? Yeah. Let's move the plate over. Oh, look at that. Delicious. It All fell right. over, but it's still delicious. All right. Let's put a little Parmesan on that. Look at that. All right. We'll get the rest of the family out here. 
give this a try just a second. All right, welcome back. I'm here with my wife Monica, my son Kyle. Hello. All right, I got some garlic bread. Let's give this a shot. It smells good. Oh, <laughs> oh you dropped some. <laughs> Me? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Mm. That's what Dixie's for, huh? When she comes around. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Very good. That is good. Wow. It's better than that uh, frozen one we have, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like the taste of the sausage, too. Ooh, I got a bite of hot sausage. Mmm, it's a good combo. And you saw, guys, it's not that hard. And if you're in a pinch, just get the canned uh, pasta sauce, or I should say the jars. Mmm. Very good. But if you can get a hold of those, what are they, San? San Marzano tomatoes. If you can get a hold of those, that's what I'd recommend. Mmm. I really like it. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching the video. If you like it, please hit the like button. I would also love it if you would consider subscribing. And I'll leave a link above to uh, my website, ericsmokingbarbecue.com. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> it's good stuff, huh? Bye. I think we're all hungry. Uh, bye. 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 This is really, really good. It is. Mmm.